Let's say you created a script and now you want the script to auto run on startup, meaning you don't want to uh, like go ahead and run the script every time you restart your computer or like uh, power it down. So you want it to auto run. Usually how you would do that is uh, first create a shortcut, then take that shortcut, uh, press Windows R, type in shell colon startup and you get this folder that starts up everything that is here and then the paste uh, the shortcut here thing is uh, when you know how to do that that's pretty easy uh, and fast to do but if you write a script for someone else having to explain all of that can be fucky what if instead you have something that does all of this automatically well I've uh, written exactly that. So first we'll look at version 2. I have both versions for version 1 and version 2, but since I use uh, version 2 the most, I'm going to explain that first. This is a function that you can call uh, that lets you mm, it lets you select a file that will run on startup. How does it work? First, uh, you get a GUI that lets you select a file then it gets uh, the file name and creates uh, the shortcut of that file with the file name in that folder that we get to by doing this um, and here's how you make a hotkey for that because some people don't know how to call functions with a hotkey that's how you do it basically just change the hotkey and that's it or uh, if you don't want to choose a file that runs on startup but instead the script itself gonna uh, run on startup this is how you do it there's actually unneeded either of these are um, yeah basically it does the same thing but for the current script so you can just take this code put it at the top of your script well in version 2 it doesn't matter where you put it basically in your script and it will auto paste its shortcut into that folder making sure that the script uh, auto runs on startup now let's have a look at version 1 the version that most people use same thing um, Here's the function, it works exactly the same, just written in version 2. Hotkey works exactly the same, and here's the code that uh, auto puts the shortcuts into that folder. Okay, so I'll leave a link to both version 1 and version 2, so you can just go ahead and uh, use this in uh, any of your scripts.